Hey guys, it's me, Ego here. Hi. Hello. Today, I'd like to introduce some cleansing products. There are so many types of cleansing products, so many people may not know which one to use. Among the many cleansing products, I chose the products that I have used and is not irritating to the eyes. Every one is different, so I'm not sure if it'll be irritating for you or not, but I really wanted to recommend these products because I've been using them very comfortably without any sting to my eyes. I selected cleansing foam, balm, oil and remover. I'll pick out the products I really like and give you a real honest review. First, lip and eye remover. This is the first product I use to remove makeup. Ariel's lip and eye remover is the top product among my favorite items, so I don't know how many boxes I've already gone through. It's a double-sided pad with one side embossed and the other side being soft. The contents of the remover inside are not too much, but just the right amount, so even if you rub it on your eyes, there's no amount that goes into your eyes. I tend to remove only the point makeup with this lip and eye remover and it's so nice to be able to remove all the point makeup with just one sheet by using Ariel's lip and eye remover. To be honest, I've tried a lot of lip and eye remover products and this is the first product with such good value for money. I've introduced this product several times in previous videos and since the price is good and the product is so good, I thought it'd be nice if you could try it at least once. It's a good product to use because it seems to lightly remove most of the waterproof products and does not cause eye irritation or discomfort. When I looked it up, it said that the oil base and the water base are mixed in an ideal ratio. Since it's not just oil but also mixed with a water base, it may be a good product to use that may be used comfortably without causing any discomfort to the eyes. It also comes in other sizes but the size I'm showing you is good for carrying around so it's good to take it with you when you travel. Next is the cleansing foam. It's not just a cleansing foam, but a mild cleansing foam with a mild acidity. It's Misha's Secreting Cleansing Bowl Foam. It's not a cream type, but a bubble foam type, so it's a cleansing foam that feels very mild from the moment you use it. The formula itself is very moist and soft even without water, so it's perfect for those who are looking for a less irritating cleansing foam. It's probably because it contains ingredients that have a soothing effect as there were almost no troubles on my skin when I was using this product. There are actually many bubble foam cleansers but the reason why I chose this product is because of all the products I've used and gotten into my eyes, this was the least irritating of all. It would not be an exaggeration to say that there were almost none rather than few. Of course, each person may be different but this is the product I chose because I think it's worth recommending. Cleansing oil. This is one of my favorite products. It's Bee Plains Mung Bing Line Cleansing Oil and I think I've already used about 4 bottles. It has a formulation similar to regular cleansing oil so there is nothing special with how it feels but there are only 2 reasons why I really like this product. It doesn't sting my eyes and doesn't feel oily after washing. There are times when I feel an oily finish after using cleansing oil but this is not the case with Bee Plains Cleansing Oil so it's really nice that I don't have to do a second face wash. To be honest, I can't say that it doesn't cause any eye discomfort at all. When removing the eye makeup with this cleansing oil, especially when I remove my mascara, I slightly flip my eyes and rub the roots of my eyelashes. Then the cleansing oil gets into my eyes and kind of makes my side a bit cloudy. B Plains cleansing oil makes my side cloudy but it's the least of cleansing oils I've used so far and I like that the discomfort doesn't last long. The B Plains cleansing oil is also said to contain green tea seed oil and to be similar to sebum so it can even care for sebum or waste. Somehow after washing my face with this product, my skin feels smooth. In addition to the cleansing oil, there is also a cleansing balm and I brought two products. I chose B Lab and 23 years old products, but I'll show you B Lab first. B Lab's cleansing balm is a product that Haley and I really like so much that we can't stop raving about it. It's a product I want to recommend so much that I wonder how such a cleansing balm exists. Cleansing balms usually come in a pot type, but it's nice that it comes in a tube type which makes it convenient to use. The formulation feels slightly more like a gel cream rather than the generic cleansing balm. Before using it, I thought it'd be just the same as any other normal cleansing balm, but after using it, it really turned out to be the best cleansing balm ever. It removes makeup really softly and without irritation, and after emulsifying, it doesn't leave any oily feeling behind even after washing my face. Personally, it feels oilier than B Plains Cleansing Oil, but the difference is barely noticeable. In general, I think cleansing balms are more oily and thick, and they're products that can cause the most discomfort and most irritating 
irritating to the eyes. But Be Labs Cleansing Balm really didn't cause any eye irritation or discomfort at all. It's such a good product that I really want to say that it's the number one cleansing balm I've ever used. And to tell you one more thing, this product has soothing and moisturizing ingredients as the main ingredients. So even after washing my face, my skin didn't feel dry or tight at all. So I really, really like this product. The 23 years old cleansing balm was recommended by Haley, but what was interesting was that the cleansing balm was green. I had first thought that only the package was green, but was surprised to find that the cleansing balm itself is green as well. And it turns out that it contains green Houtania cordata, so it deeply cleanses the skin. This product is also not a regular cleansing balm. It has a gel cream texture that flows slightly, but it feels a bit sticky when applied. It was my first time using a cleansing balm like this, so it felt a bit strange when I first used it. But when I tried removing my makeup while rubbing my eyes, it removes my makeup very clean without any irritation or discomfort. Even after using 23 years old cleansing balm, it's not uncommon for my eyes to look cloudy after using it, but I would have to say that it was barely noticeable. But what was a bit disappointing is that when emulsifying and rinsing with water, you have to ensure that you rinse it off really thoroughly. When I finished washing my face and wiped my face with a toner pad, I saw the toner pad turn green, so it's probably some leftover residue from the balm itself. It's a good product that removes makeup neatly and is easy to use without burning eyes, so it's a good product if you just rinse it well. Like this, I introduced some of the best cleansing products I've ever used. Cleansing is as important step as skincare, so I think it's important to use without discomfort. In particular, if it gets into your eyes, it can cause eye pain or inflammation to the eyes later, so I think it's important to choose products that does not cause any irritation or discomfort. I hope the products I introduced today will help you choose your cleansing products, and I really hope you to try it at least once. So my video is still here. Thank you for watching my video today. Don't forget to subscribe, press the like buttons, and please leave some comments for me. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.